Day four, and I'm happy to report that I'm symptom-free. Perhaps yesterday was a product of my rampant hypochondria. Anyway, sipping on some black coffee right now, which may or may not have a tiny splash of Irish whiskey. CDC cases in the U.S. stand at 10,442 cases and 150 deaths. Two days ago, we were at 4,226 cases and 75 deaths, which means that the mortality rate jumped 100% in two days. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization reports 191,127 cases worldwide and 7,807 deaths. Yeah. While cleaning out my liquor wall, I was reminded of just how many bottles I've acquired from overseas, which brings me to volume one of You Can't Get It Here. A few years ago, my wife had to go to the Caribbean for a few weeks for work. I know, right? She went to a bunch of different places, including Aruba, Curaçao, and Turks and Caicos, and brought back a bunch of rum, but most of it isn't that good. Except for one. This is Bambara 8 Year Reserve, and as much as I love the bottle, there's a hell of a story behind the name. In 1841, a Spanish slave ship bound for Cuba called the Troubadour shipwrecked off East Caicos, which at the time was deserted. Miraculously, everyone on board survived, and the newly freed Africans named their beach where they landed Bambara. Descendants of these free Africans heavily influenced the local culture and today make up a large portion of the Turks and Caicos population. On to the rum itself. According to their website, it's a blend of Caribbean rums aged at least eight years in American oak barrels, which I assume means ex-bourbon. Whoops. Let's give this a nose. Yeah, a lot of familiar notes of um, maple syrup, vanilla, cinnamon. Yeah, I've smelled a lot of rums like this, particularly from the Caribbean. Uh, rums, from, ugh, rums from the Dominican Republic and Guatemala have smelled like this. This is pretty pleasant. A lot of maple syrup, vanilla notes. It's quite smooth. I guess this would be a good time to point out that it clocks in at 37.5 ABV, which is pretty common in other parts of the world to go somewhere between 35 and 38. Most of my favorite rums are overproof, so this does kind of lack body to me, but I don't hate it. I would definitely put it on pancakes. Overall, quite satisfactory. Solid rum from a country I know very little about. Too bad you can't get it here. Changing the subject, we watched Inglorious Bastards last night. I've seen that movie before and I enjoyed it. After a second viewing, it's really good. I really enjoyed it. However, I feel that it's just Tarantino flexing on people. He makes good enough movies. Does he really need to make a movie that over half of it is in a foreign language? So while it has the trappings of Tarantino movies, the quirky characters, the whip-smart dialogue, the trademark lighting, does he really need to take all that and put it into what looks like a foreign film? I don't know. You tell me. That's it. Stay safe. Follow the advice of professionals. I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.